What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MULM stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how I caught this movement to the upside uh, that brought uh, from its lowest point to its highest point about 127% to the value of the company. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you that uh, all of the news that are on the table right now are nothing more than just smoke and mirrors. And I will show you the next step uh, that uh, you will see in the next uh, couple of uh, weeks in order to push the price of this asset higher. But uh, in general, fundamentally, this news will not help uh, Malin Automotive to increase uh, its uh, value. And uh, I will prove my words. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this very bottom, right after this asset uh, from its swing high lost about 60% uh, of its value in a matter of just uh, 5 trading sessions. And uh, my assumption right here was that in general, in the long term perspective, this asset should break its all time low. But definitely, with the uh, potential news uh, from C-level executives, we could see some spike uh, in its price that uh, might reach at least, uh, let's say, 50% of potential uh, profit. And uh, as you can see, it happened uh, right after I made my previous video and this asset uh, went higher. And uh, we can see definitely, we can see a lot of excitement from so-called uh, Malin Automotive investors. But guys, let's be honest. Uh, the people who are in green right now are only those uh, who entered their position uh, from uh, August uh, 18th uh, till, uh, let's say, August uh, 23rd during these uh, trading sessions. And I have to say that uh, there is not so many people who entered their position right here without uh, any uh, doubling down from uh, much higher prices. And this means the number of people who are in green right after this massive uh, movement to the upside for more than 126% to its highest point and about 71% uh, to the current edge is not so high. And in general, if you zoom out, uh, <laughs> you will not uh, see any signs of recovery. This asset lost uh, from, uh, let's say, from this year alone uh, let me show you from uh, this year alone, it lost uh, 90, more than 98%, 99% of its value, even with this uh, spike in price, that is nothing else, but uh, it, it is, uh, it is uh, so tiny compared to its previous price section. But in general, we have a lot of excitement around the retail community. So what was uh, the reason of uh, this spike in its price? First of all, uh, David Mishri published a letter, open letter to shareholders addressing declining stock values. And uh, this uh, news was published on August 23rd. And uh, the next day, on August 24th, they published this one. Malin commemorates uh, start of class 3 vehicle production with successful commercial EV launch event. And uh, let me start one by one. First of all, with the letter that uh, David Mishri uh, wrote uh, just two days ago. And in general, I have to say that uh, uh, despite all the facts, uh, all the financial highlights and operational highlights, I cannot say that uh, this asset uh, brings something new to the table. And this means fundamentally it cannot change anything. Next news is uh, the beginning of uh, their production of class uh, three trucks. And I have to say that for now, we have a lot of pictures and we have even <laughs> so-called uh, uh, mysteriously made video. Uh, let me show you that was uh, made uh, by Brandon Bell. And I have to say that uh, his video you can find uh, on uh, Cal's uh, Financial Journey uh, YouTube channel. And uh, it is just three and a half minutes long video. And uh, it is quite interesting, but uh, there is no, uh, there is zero robots on this assembly line. And let me show you that uh, even their previous uh, videos, let me show you, for example, this one. Uh, this is their Mississippi plant and uh, you can see a lot of vans uh, on their assembly line. But in their Tunica plant, you will not uh, see any robots at all and any assembly lines. This means uh, it is very debatable uh, 
will they be able to produce uh, uh, let me show you this uh, number will they be able to produce uh, somewhere here wait a second uh, 930 million three units till the end of 2023 and uh, this is the official statement that David Nishori made uh, just uh, several weeks ago with their plans uh, to produce this number of vehicles and I have to say that uh, to produce uh, 930 vehicles they have to produce at least 8 vehicles a day till the end of this year and guys they don't have uh, even a spare part uh, to make this happen let me show you the uh, importgenius.com uh, website and here you can see that uh, they imported uh, about 44.5 uh, tons uh, of uh, the frames and parts of uh, class 3 truck and it is not more than just uh, 15 vehicles this means they will produce uh, they will uh, so called uh, assemble these vehicles in a matter of just two days and there is no uh, any type of uh, new uh, spare parts uh, from uh, the Nanjing Automobile Import and Export Company who produces uh, these uh, class 3 trucks. But guys, let me show you quite interesting detail. Right here on Import Genius you will also uh, you can also find Malin Automotive and unfortunately this data is behind the paywall but they have five shipments and uh, just several days ago they had uh, four of them and the update, the date, uh, the latest update was made uh, on uh, August the 10th and I found this this is the uh, Hannon Henry automobile technology and uh, as you can see importer is Marlin Automotive and uh, the arrival date uh, is uh, uh, August the 10th and uh, they imported four units with a gross weight of uh, 3. Point, uh, let's say 3.2 tons and uh, definitely it is quite tiny vehicles and I made uh, my due diligence and if you Google uh, the supplier name, you will find uh, that uh, it is the producer of uh, so-called Malin iGoes. And guys, let me show you that if uh, the imported vehicle has a VIN number, this means it is an engine product. And this means uh, you cannot say that you produce these vehicles. But uh, mark my words, uh, in a matter of just a couple of uh, weeks, David Mishri will make another statement that uh, they are starting to produce uh, the uh, Malin iGo vehicles. And let me show you another quite interesting detail. The price of these vehicles is less than $10,000. But uh, they uh, announced uh, about uh, 17,000 euro uh, price for Malin iGo. And it doesn't make sense. And uh, this is another, another evidence that this company is nothing else but smoke and mirrors. And you shouldn't rely on this uh, stock as a long-term holding. And guys, uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, first of all, as I mentioned in my previous video, we might see this type of spikes uh, and it happens. And uh, for now, uh, a lot of excitement, as I already mentioned, uh, is spreading around the Malin automotive community. But in general, this company is still the same. David Mishuri is still stealing the money from existing shareholders. And let me show you uh, this uh, thread that was written by Post Hoc Ergo just six hours ago. And uh, in uh, his research and his due diligence, he found that uh, the uh, class three trucks, uh, trucks are not qualified uh, for the $7.5 thousand uh, dollars uh, tax, federal tax incentives. This means they cannot uh, say that uh, this uh, truck is eligible for this uh, uh, tax, uh, federal tax incentive. And uh, this means uh, it is another evidence that it is nothing else but smoke and mirrors. And guys, just give uh, this asset uh, several more days to trade and you will see that this asset, uh, let's say by the end of August or at the very beginning of September, will break its all-time low. And you can dislike my videos, you can put any comments uh, you want in the comment section. But guys, uh, the price action speaks by itself. This asset is moving south and nothing can change it. Because uh, fundamentally, it is not uh, an auto manufacturer. They cannot produce uh, these vehicles. And uh, let me show you one of uh, their recent uh, press release that was uh, made, that was published on July 14th. And uh, in this press release, they stated over 350 class one vehicles 
in preparation to be transferred to Tunica for final assembly. And we are at the end of uh, August and none of these vehicles uh, appeared uh, on this uh, assembly plant or any parking lots around uh, this uh, plant. This means uh, another evidence that this is a smoke and mirrors. So I think uh, that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.